I have no idea what you're talking about right now. It's okay. Can we move to um, <laughs> this? Sorry, guys. What I hold in my hand. Let's go ahead and bring up this next subject. Me and Alan were uh, shopping like a good couple does <laughs> every Friday night. And uh, we were at the Smiths there getting some analies and some extra large condoms. and some No, be honest. We were getting beer, cheesecloth, razor blades, and isopropyl alcohol. Well, uh, whatever. Still no condoms. <laughs> I don't think y'all got bareback, oh, baby. Right. <laughs> All of it, actually. <laughs> so, so we're there, and uh, we're walking through the household items baking aisle, aisle. the baking aisle, and Flowering which is appropriate. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we saw uh, we saw this lovely prayer candle, and dare I you say, you saw. Well, dare I say my ethnicity attracted me to this candle. And you thought, I bet I could fit that in my rectum. (laughs) And I did, but that's not what this is about. Um, It's incredibly clean. Yeah. Well, so is my well, what you do is you light it, and then it's slow. Though, with the heat rolls all the way. Never mind. <laughs> Lack of oxygen. I mean, it, it's kind of like, have you ever seen a chiropractor light a cup over someone's back and then seal the oxygen? Like, the, the flame <laughs> <laughs> uses the oxygen, and he seals it in there. Have you ever oh, seen that shit? It's kind of like that. Huh. Anyway, uh, there's a picture of Jesus on it, uh, and it, it looks like Jesus. he's having a, he's look, it looks like he's having a pretty good time. From here, just hanging well, out, just doing what Jesus does. Really, is what is what he's doing. Just hanging out. He's dying for our sins, and people say that you should really, uh, like, if you die, love. If you die doing what you love doing, I mean, that's the only thing you can. That's the only thing you can hope wow. for. And um, and this is the prayer to just judge. Just judge, Which, judge yeah. Judy, <laughs> and uh, this is good because I figured this prayer would help me judge people because I know there's a lot of fucking scumbag uh, motherfuckers out there. Uh, some people say that they're your friends when they're your enemies, and there's a lot of those motherfuckers. They call them frenemies, and then some people say that they're your enemies, but those uh, people are really after your money. See, those enemies are saying they're true, but really in real life they're being snitches. Is, is, is that a, the prayer? Or uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Tupac song, right? Perhaps. <laughs> so uh, this is the prayer to just judge. Okay. Most holy. <laughs> Most holy judge, son of St. Mar- Mary, uh, whoops. do not let my body be harmed or my blood be spilled. The hands of my Lord support me when, wherever I go. I think wow. you do back, Black Preacher. This is a little bit of a downer here. Do Black Preacher. Uh, oh. Why you, yeah. Okay. We'll let so Mikey Nick Mays read this. No, in so Nick, so Nick do Munoz do doing do his Chris Rock impression. Yeah, you got to do it. You I do don't it. know about that. Just, just do it. Just And then Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Most holy judge, son of St. Mary, do not let my body be harmed. Tell it. Oh, my blood be spilled. Mm. The hands of my Lord support me wherever I go. Yeah, yeah. Tell them. Amen. <laughs> let not my enemies nor their weapons hurt me. Nor their injuries imprison me. That's right. May the robe that covered our Lord, baby Jesus. Uh Praise the Lord. Cover my body. (laughs) So bad. (laughs) Oh, he's dabbing his head. (laughs) You need to fan it. You need to fan it. (laughs) Tell it from the mouth. May the robe that covered our Lord, baby Jesus, cover my body so that I will never be injured. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. May the... Oh, I already did that. Hallelujah. Fatally wounded or humiliated by public imprisonment, by the intercession of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know it. Now can I get a communal amen? Amen. Amen. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> we got some revival going on there. I actually uh So that's why you brought you bought a prayer candle for well, that. My Hispanic race called me to the prayer candle, but it, it brings up another story now that you're leaving brought- the aisle and you're like, motherfucker left turn. 
And then I got the prayer candle. Yeah. And I wanted to light it. And Alan was like, since he's an atheist, he's like, don't no, light it. No, it's because of the fucking foam next to you. Well, that's what you said. Made uh, <laughs> solely from oil. <laughs> from dinosaur blood. And I was like, hey, let's light this candle right here, Alan. It should be funsies. Just lean it <laughs> yeah. against there. Uh, Real good. I've got a pretty fantastic story about those prayer candles. Tell really? me. Hey, let me ask you guys a question. Who's the oldest star that you would bang? John Cuellar. The oldest star. Is it still Getty still alive? Is it? Yeah. I would go for Kepler 223. Who? <laughs> That's a science. That lady joke. we saw walking across the street before the podcast. <laughs> I'm going to say Amy Goodman. Get Good- my fucking stick. Amy Goodman. <laughs> Amy Goodman. <laughs> Amy Goodman. Democracy Now. Oh, nice, nice. And who's yours, Kevin? Um, let me see. Sally Field. Sally Field? For sure. The flying nun, Mrs. Doubtfire. Ha! I would show her my if body. There's body. grass in the field. <laughs> would you would would you send her retarded son to school? <laughs> if she did the you know probably already done with school, right? She knew how to you know, how to make the bed squeak. We'll give him a job like shredding paper. Sure. Would you have sex with Mrs. Doubtfire if you didn't know it was Robin Williams? <laughs> Or maybe we could get her, him on uh, Last Comic Standing because Josh Blue did really well. Josh Blue. <laughs> Josh Blue. He needed the money. He needed the money! <laughs> For his pills. <laughs> For his pills. <laughs> so what are you up to today, man? Yeah, what, what are you, you doing? What have you been working on? He's got the big show tonight. show tonight at Broken Bottle. Okay, the Broken Bottle show. Okay, what's, the, what's going on over there? It's free. Uh, it's free. He was an asshole to us when he came here. Oh no, he's still listening. He's just <laughs> what happened to the? <laughs> he wasn't. What happened to your phone? Did your phone die, bro? Yeah, your phone's dead. Yeah, it's amazing the he's... coverage you get in your own apartment. Oh shit. Yeah, it's amazing. See, uh, here, let me see if I can dial him up. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about. Yeah, but uh... <laughs> John, I think it's time to discuss. Or I should say, declare. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's our war against uh, against this against the lady who posted kid. the video. Uh, my three-year-old has to argue about everything. Are you guys familiar with this video? No. Uh. Um. Okay. So we we played a video of uh, this lady arguing with her three-year-old, and he just talks back constantly, calls her by her name. And then we got a notice on YouTube saying this was copywritten. So, like, we got a notice on our video saying you have to acknowledge this and you'll get a strike against your account or you can dispute it. So we disputed it, and because of this, now we're deciding to uh, declare an internet war against her and her child. (laughs) Because how do you copyright an asshole child? So being an asshole parent. <laughs> exactly. So um we made a uh a promo to um John, how would how would you describe this? Well basically basically there's this kid and he's like uh, here, I'll play it for these guys here. And um He's ar- his his mom's basically not laying down the law. She's letting him argue because she thinks it's cute, but it's kind of just fucking annoying to me. Some people are like, it's disrespectful. And she goes through, she deletes all the negative comments. And yeah, she's a total... Oh yeah, I'd smack bitch. the shit out of that little fucker. So you guys reposted this, or...? We uh, we played it while well, we talked about it. We'd stop and talk about it, but we had it on the screen while we were talking about it. And oh, okay. we pause it. We go through. Of course, they can see that it's not our video, and we made mention of it. There are other ways to do it that you're supposed to be more conspicuous about who the video is, and I think ultimately that might be what it 
comes down to. But this kid's kind of just fucking annoying. Yeah, he's an so, asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we decided to, I don't know, to uh, make a little ad. See if see. we can stir something up between us and them. Try mm-hmm. to get some of those views sent our way. Um, plus, also, <laughs> w- when we first watched it, that video had, what, a couple th- hundred it had, thousand? It had 25,000 views. And then we watched it on the podcast the first time. And then now it's up to about four and a half million. So, wow. so now we, we only deduce that we made it famous. We did, obviously. Oh, yeah. So That's we just think it's, it's fair <laughs> that that we shouldn't get strikes against it when we help make it famous In and fact, give them an, a, yeah. a, a time to copyright it. We don't want credit. We no, don't we don't want, want credit. Just, me and Jacob didn't even know about it until right now. There yeah. you, you go. See, Two we're more. spreading people, it. Yeah. yeah. So here is a uh, a response. <laughs> New from Apparent Problems Incorporated, the Behavior Correction Kit. Does your kid argue? At the house, do I go? Does your kid overeat? You cannot have cupcakes for dinner. Does your child call you by your first name? You. Does your kid just need to act fucking right? Do not listen to me. Then try the new behavior correction kit from Apparent Problems Incorporated. Comes with a book, a frayed leather belt, and a 90-day prescription of Valium. Order now for only three reasonable payments of $49.95. Coming soon for dogs. So fuck these people. Oh, yeah. So, like, Linda... Yeah, so like the coolest part about <laughs> Linda that is... and Mateo, <laughs> asshole name. That's a street name without the San. San Mateo. What the fuck? That's not creative at all. <laughs> it means something to us. What, and yeah, that kid basically is an asshole for our. Oh yeah, his maybe mom. his name is. Maybe she named him kids, Mateo because she knew that he would eventually be standing on the street there. <laughs> Maybe he, she's such an asshole that he got tired of all her shit and then started arguing yeah, that's with true. everything. At Where's three years old. At three years Well, obviously, he spends gone. a lot of time with the grandma as they uh, disputed. When uh, I'm at grandma's house, it's okay to have cupcakes for dinner. Asshole that makes kid. sense. Grandma can't cook. Well, you his know. mom's got to go to community college, probably. So there's probably, you know, that's probably what she's doing. She has to balance three jobs well, and school. Well, grandma's taking mm. care of the kid. Yeah. That's probably what it is. Yeah, and grandma's probably pretty young. <laughs> yeah. Probably she's... in her 40s. Oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> Wait, 40s is young? <laughs> well, for a grandma. Oh, yes. I say. That'd be super young. I guess I thought we were just talking about w- women in general. <laughs> well, they're not from New Mexico, right? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I, From the accent, I kind of think they are. Okay. Because I know a lot of women out here kind of talk... A little, yeah. Well, that sounds more Japanese, but <laughs> <laughs> sounds more retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just don't like the way the the New Mexican accent out here is. Jacob, it, it annoys me. Do you, Do you notice a, a difference in accent, dialect, uh, in inflection? No, I'm from Arizona. It's exactly the same. It's, really, everything sounds exactly the same to me. Uh, people talk slow everywhere. Yeah, uh, that's. All I have to, to say like about that. <laughs> What's that? Like, like uh, on the East Coast, people don't talk slow. Well, yeah, East Coast people talk a lot faster. I bet you're comparing yourself to like crazy people that I think they put like cocaine in the smog up in the East Coast. Oh yeah, uh, that's all I got. That's good. That's all you need. That's, that's all I need. need. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, dude? What's up? Do you like Money Mayweather? No. No. Right. Boom. My new best like friend. Yes. <laughs> so many haters. My hating just. Tell, tell, tell them the good news you got. What's the good news you got, man? I got a girlfriend named Stella. You got a yeah. girlfriend named Stella. How Stella got her groove back. Best, little yeah, Mike. no kidding. Uh, hey, uh, so <laughs> Stella. <laughs> What's up with the Stella broad? Fucking whore! No, 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 no,
And uh, I was Just like, you know, I, 5, I, I told him, you know, that sounds like a good idea. And he goes, yes, now all I need is your pin number to finish the <laughs> transaction. <laughs> <laughs> sounds legit. Yeah, yeah, it does. I get, oh, I wonder if I have some. I get these calls all the time from uh, telemarketers in Jamaica. Comes up oh, in my phone. You're not on the do not call that? list? <laughs> no, because then I wouldn't get to fuck with these people oh, so much. okay, I get it. But they'll be like... They'll try to come up with the most stereotypical American name. They'll be like, okay, here's one. Let's just hear this voicemail. I don't know. Um, Ooh, voicemail. Speaker. But I get to mess with them a lot. I'll see if this is loud enough. Hello, Ross P. A pleasant good afternoon to you. My name is Mr. David Johnson, the manager <laughs> no, of the Winners International. I'm calling you today in regards to... $2.5 million and a brand new 2014 BMW car, which you have won yourself out of our company. If you're interested in receiving this package, please contact me at 1-876-289-0188. Thank you. Call it right now. You know, you know who that him? sounds like? We should call it. You know who that sounds like? You are lying. I know this. This guy. You. That's the accent that that guy's trying to put on. That's the American. Yeah. So the guy's cool name really isn't Brand Davey new Johnson. 20,000. Is that what Davy? Should we call him? Yes. Let's, Let's call, call him, him right now. So. Davy Johnson. Yeah. Can I please speak to Davy? Good afternoon to you. Name. My name is Mr. David Johnson. Davy Johnson. <laughs> My name is Mr. David Johnson. Okay. Let's call him and claim that his That is car. such a bizarre accent. Yeah. Okay. Mr. You should David. say your name is like Mr. David Mohammed Johnson Smith. Well, he already knows. Hello? Uh, hello, Mr. D is I'm looking for a Davy Johnson. Davy Johnson, please. Yeah, who is this? Uh, this this is Rusty. I got a call that I I want a BMW car in two point five. I can't believe it. Million dollars. Is that yeah. cool? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. i uh, just getting back to you. I got this the call a couple days ago, but. That uh, I'm really excited about that. Okay, so you just got. But what what, are you, what are your name? Remind me of your name again. Uh, Rusty R Rutherford. A uh, Rusty Rutherford. Yeah. Give me my car. I want my car. They. they uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, and I and we left the message for, to a guy, and he said that he was going to give provide you the message as soon as you got back in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the guy in the background there. Oh, that's sorry. That's the TV. Oh. I gotta let me turn it down. Oh, okay. Sorry about All that. right. Well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. You were this month's lucky winner of a certified cashier's check of two point five million dollars oh, and the brand new two thousand and fourteen BMW car. All right. That's excellent. Okay. Yeah, and you and you'll just ship it to me, or do I have to pick it up? Well, what we normally do is we normally have a delivery team to make the delivery, but normally we here at the company, we normally take care of 95% of all the government and IRS fees for you, the winner. So normally the only thing you have been asked to do is to take care of a small fee, which is just 5% for okay. the delivery of, for the delivery of this package safely to you. Yeah. Sure, just take that 5% out of the 2.5 million and, and we can just um, no, ship remember, the rest. This is, remember, hello? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, remember that. This is a certified bank cashier's check, so there is no way we can take any money out of it because it can only be cashed by you. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll just cash that and then I'll mail you um, 5% from there. That's no problem at all. I don't like that. No, you're, you're, you're not understanding. Can you just listen to what I'm saying? No, hold on. Let me put you in the um, babble fish real quick. You are tearing me okay. apart. Okay. Uh, okay. So, how much is five percent? What does that come to? I believe two point five million. That would be two ten percent would be two hundred fifty thousand, one hundred twenty-five thousand. No, bucks. my friend. Not no, nothing like those money. Nothing like those money. This five percent which you pay to receive their package is only five hundred dollars. Oh, five hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yes, yes that's only five hundred dollars. No. So that means I'm only getting ten. I'm only getting ten thousand dollars. 
No, no. Listen, listen and, and try to understand. You are receiving the certified bank issues check of the entire 2.5 million, all right? Oh, thank God. Okay, I thought I was only going to... This five hundred dollars, which you will pay, you will pay today. Either you have two options: you can either purchase a green dot card at the store, or you could take care of this payment by the Western Union to our merchant banker and have your receipt to present to the delivery guys when they come over. Okay. See, the, my only problem with Western Union is I'm here um, illegally. And if I try to do anything through Western Union, they'll get caught. So if I could just pick it up from you directly, that would probably be the easiest way. No, all right. Let me say something to you. Okay. Remember that we are we are all the way over here in Orlando, Florida. So normally, what we oh, that's do not sweat. For two point five million, man, I will hitchhike to Orlando, Florida. I have a friend who has an uncle there. All right. Are you familiar with the Walmart, the Walgreens, or the CVS Pharmacy? No, I've never heard of those ones. You never heard of Walmart? No. I'm, uh... Walmart, Walmart is one of the biggest grocery stores in the United States of America. You have Walmart. Have you ever heard about Kmart? Hmm. I think I have heard of Kmart. I think it has drug. It's a drug. Yeah. All right, it's me, like croc right, it's crocodile. Give, it's right, like I'm a gonna, heroin I'm, substitute I'm, for you. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a name a, a, a number of stores and you're gonna tell me which ones you know. You okay. have Walmart, okay. no. Walgreens, no. CVS Pharmacy, no. Right aid. Oh. Radio Shack, Snow Code, Snow Cone, Snow Cone. Snow cone, snow cone. Uh, I think the snow cone one I did. That one I'm familiar with. Oh, you know about the snow cone? Yeah, there's a lady that used to drive a truck by my elementary school every day, and I would get pineapple. Oh, so how far do you live from that store? From the elementary school? Oh, it's just a couple blocks from my parents' house. I moved from there, but it's real close. The snow cone, the snow cone. Mm -hmm, the snow cone lady? I think she still comes there. She died. <laughs> she, she oh, you know. So you know snow cones and you know Kmart. Yeah, I'll buy so many snow cones with 2.5 million dollars. I will live. I will be like every kid at that elementary school a snow cone, and I'll say, um, "Mr. Washington sent me, Davy Wash, Davy Washington, or Johnson." David Johnson. David right, Johnson. Listen. I'm gonna give you a name of a type of card which you're going to purchase. If you purchase this card today, my friend, then we can make your delivery straight to your residence today, all right? Okay. What, why would I purchase a car if I just want a car? All right. The reason why you purchase this card for 500 is to activate and release the package into the hands of the delivery team so that they take it straight to you because, because the package has been held at the whole department. David Johnson is a now, fucking so idiot. I'm on a podcast. Car, I'm on a podcast right now and you just got you real, fucking you idiot! You just no, David right. Johnson, you Boring. fucking Be nice! Do people Be nice. actually send to make you money for this shit? You're just trying to make with a fake accent, you piece of shit! We all hate you. Why do you always... I, I, I fucked with you every time you call my phone, old. and you still call it. You are pretty stupid. Do people really send you money for this scam bullshit? Out of curiosity? Because if so, and I'm And what's your real name, for fuck's sake? Yeah, David Johnson, you fake fuck. And Jamaica and Orlando aren't that close. Your David accent Johnson. is atrocious. I like it. <laughs> You're not sexy. Oh, wait, I lost connection. <laughs> Mr. David Johnson. Let's go get some snow cones. Oh, that was oh, fucking so awesome, God, man. Rusty, good, awesome. good job, I'm man. craving that snow cones. <laughs> $2.5 million dollars <laughs> worth of dude. snow man. cones. What if Purchased a card for five hundred dollars. <laughs> what if it turns it? out that it was real and I just like <laughs> fucked it all up right there? <laughs> We're gonna see him on the news or something like this dipshit fucking talking Actually, about snow cones. My best one. It's the same dude. He called me once at the office and I answered. And I was like, no way, are you serious? Yeah, I'll do that, no problem, no problem. I've been wanting to quit this job. Hold on one second, let me call my boss on the other line. And I like call my boss and I was like, uh, hey Sally, you can take this job and shove it up your ass. I'm done, I'm a millionaire bitch. And I hung up and he's like, wait, first you have to send the $2,000. And I was like, no, I don't have that. What are you serious? I don't have a job now. And I queued up the sound effects of a yeah. gunshot. And I'm just like, I can't fucking, I can't take it anymore. 
That one. Yeah, and then I just left in silence. <laughs> <laughs> he still calls me back even after I shot myself. That was fantastic. <laughs> that was awesome, man. So is that the first time you really fucked with him for that long? or? Probably, long? yeah. <laughs> it's the longest fuck I've had with him. Oh, what yeah. kind of accent right. was He's that? like, you never heard of Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets the snow cone. The Jesus Christ. I was setting you up for like an advertisement, and then that's all right. Oh, there's this guy. Ooh. Damon. Damon. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey what's, what's up, up, buddy? What's going on? You're on Potential Problems Podcast. Welcome Fuck to Potential. Yeah, I am. I'm fucking about ready to do a stunt. Two stunts, actually. You guys you're, ready? You're slurring a little bit. Are you a little drunk? Oh, fuck. Hey, what? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You're not the only one. Hey, it looks like someone has an e-cigarette there. Is that what that is? An e-cigarette? No. Oh, yeah. uh, it's not an e- <laughs> All right. Fucking, let's just get going. Do it. Do it. All right. Oh, shit. Don't uh, that's not part of the stunt. Fuck. Call 911. Like last night <laughs> yeah, for this me. is a Jesus. kidnapping, not a stunt. <laughs> Oh my Ow. god. You suck. You're, <laughs> I think your hair is a little too long to do this. <laughs> okay. So, my name is Damon Reynolds. I used to do stunts. I bring it back just from his pocket. I just let you know. Close the other screen real quick on the computer that has the live stream. It's feeding back. Sorry, man. No worries. No worries. Didn't mean to wreck your intro. <laughs> this is an awesome screen capture, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yo, he looks like he's a fucked up Ninja Turtle right now. <laughs> yeah. Like a Ninja right, Turtle on acid. I comics, so let's fucking, let's get, let's fucking do this one, bro. Alright, what is this? Uh, bro! Ah! God damn! Ow. Oh my fuck, I just ruined my hair. <laughs> now punch him in the balls. <laughs> Alright, now this is the second stunt. <laughs> <laughs> Complete. Alright, no, this is the second stunt. Show up to the camera, man. It's Mouse a, trap. With thumbtacks on it. Oh. With thumbtacks? Oh, like, don't wait, tell me you're going to put your balls up, in there. The horizontal so we can see. Okay, there we go. Do not put your yeah. sack in there. Wait, what is that Japanese tattoo supposed to say? It's a mystery. It's, it's a mystery? mystery. <laughs> no, it turns out it says this white boy's a dumb fuck for getting a oh, Chinese tattoo. Oh, what? <laughs> It's not very polite. That's what it is. Oh, my nose. Oh, he's putting it on his nose. Oh, shit. Oh, oh dude. Tongue, I don't know tongue, if I like tongue, this. Tongue, tongue. Oh, 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 oh dude. How did I get it off? That was fucking oh, awesome, God. dude. Get it off Get it off with a shotgun shell. <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh, holy oh, that Wait, get a close-up. Let's see if it's bleeding. Is it? Maybe. Probably holy not. shit, there's holes. Dude, imagine the cocaine you holes. could do now. I see two holes. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dude. brutal. That was pretty fucking Dude, brutal, man. YouTube.com slash M-E-T-T-L-F-R-E-K. Okay, one more time. Do that. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but do it. But, but yeah, no. fucking, I do uh, comics now, so... You do comics. Yay, that nice. type of comics trip on Facebook. It sounds like a lot of the the female comics out here. Yes. <laughs> oh, no Fuck shit. You. Not, uh, not Callie, though. <laughs> no, uh, no, what kind no. of... Oh, dude, now we can see the blood. It's like pooling oh. on your nose. Oh, Holy oh. shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking yeah. great. At any time, did it occur dude, to you to... Yeah, that's what I used to do for fun. And now I just do it just because of this podcast. So, All right. So is this like a... Like, how long has it been since you did the last one? Oh, a year ago was the last time I did a stunt, like legit stunt. Was that, that the one? Was that one the one where the chick wore the bear costume and gave you a titty twister with a wrench? Titty well, twister. Yeah, that's that was actually like six months ago. But before that, it was a I lit a toy like a flaming car on fire down the slide into my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, like a like a like a, to a Hot Wheels car. No, it was like a like a car that a two two year old can ride. <laughs> Like one oh, of the, one of the plastic ones that melts really easily. <laughs> oh, yeah. It melts really easily onto my face. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> nice. All that, right. Did that hurt? Oh, thank you for the fucking napkin. <laughs> a napkin? That You might want to bring some, like, Neosporin instead of a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, fuck it, man. Fucking potential problems podcast. Hey, nice. hey let, oh, me yeah. see your, let me see your napkin again. Uh, I can't. 
What? No, let's do it again. Terrible. Yeah, you can. What ah! do you mean you can? It looks like a tampon. That reminds me of the time my that girlfriend. Does not look like a tampon. <laughs> oh, I should know. I had one in my ass before. Oh. <laughs> but what about a tampon? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool, man. You did it. That was pretty fucking awesome, man. Do you have like another stunt lined up sometime in the future? I know the stunt lined up. No, I. I no, 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 I, I mean, the, legit what? just had this fucking this one, just because Alan emailed me like. At one o'clock today, it was like yeah, it wasn't that like, was fucking Kelly awesome. Kelly started drinking right around then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. So, like he emailed me, he's like, "Yeah, want to want to be on this podcast?" Like, fuck yeah! And I'm like, "All right, let's just do this stunt." And it fucking still hurts, god damn. <laughs> <sighs> well, right on, dude. We'll have to see if we can maybe make this a semi regular thing. Oh, uh, dude, I would be totally down for that. <laughs> cool, definitely, dude, man. Want to give me the nuts before we leave? No. Do it. Wait, do, do it. it. Both of you stand up and do it at the Don't same time. It. Yeah, give me the nuts, bro, before we leave, before we go. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, dude, that was fucking... Oh, oh dude, fucking... <laughs> woo, that was yeah, fuck yeah. nice, dude. That was my friend, man. He's fucking... Yeah, your friend. Right shit on, on his dude. face when he's sleeping tonight. <laughs> Get him <laughs> drunk and just shit all over his face. Well, well have fun with the rest of the podcast. I'm Thank cool, you, man. sir. Uh, See you later. Bye bye. Peace. God oh. damn, that was funny. <laughs> I don't even understand what I just saw, but <laughs> it was great. Yeah, I was, you he, know, had, he wore the money shirts. <laughs> that's not it. He wore the money shirts. That's <laughs> not Noah Chicken. <laughs> that's a Noah Chicken dance. Yeah, that's what it says. Noah that's him chicken. as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh my god, you should go on Star Search. Oh, 75 show. views. Let's, this is going to be the next arguing three year old video. Let's show him the, the, gonna be on the Ellen. swinging granny. Oh show my the god. Have you guys granny. seen that? Have you guys seen the oh, Don't swinging Google granny. swinging tranny. <laughs> yeah, no. Swinging tranny. Because then your history will pop up. <laughs> Look, okay, so this is something uh, something that popped up a couple days ago. Um, Get to the video. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Is she farting? No, that's, that's her scream. Oh, wait, I can't. Run, E.T., it's the government. Oh, he chases her down. He chases after, her yeah, down. Yeah, after flexing. But listen, just listen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Obviously, she's okay, because, I mean, at old people, their their limbs tend to fall out of place easily, but uh, swinging them by the jacket, I don't see how that's... Uh... <laughs> I think that everyone's going to remember her, I think, now. Like, she'll always be the swinging granny. Like, forever. Yeah. Like, I feel like now oh, yeah. that her life has meaning, because otherwise it would probably just been like... Now she'll let kids line up. Went to prison or I want to follow her on Twitter. There now, go. now there's going to be kids like lining up around the block, and she charges like one Ukrainian dollar per swing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one Ukrainian dollar. I don't know what it's called Romanian. out there. Yeah, she be she better watch out, or uh, Putin's going to invade her. Yeah, the <laughs> swinging old lady. That was a up to date jam. I like that. I like that jam. That was good. Um, yeah. So swinging granny was that? Is that cruel? First of all, was that cruel? She that seems cruel? like she's insane on a couple levels. Or maybe she just doesn't like being picked up and fucking swung around like a goddamn fucking rag doll. Oh, yeah, the video did sort of pick up partway through it. So Her, Was that cruel? Do you think that's cruel? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure she signed a waiver or something. So does that, wait, so that, does that mean cruel things are hilarious? Yes. Yes. Sometimes. Have you ever seen someone fall down and not laugh? Uh, uh, I, seen... saw, I saw a lady at the mall fall down while carrying a baby. And I almost lost my Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your you, and my burger? Your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Once the baby started crying, it turned you off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "All right, she doesn't have a kidney." Oh. Yeah, swinging grandma. Uh, Nick, do you think that was cruel? Cruel and unusual punishment there. I don't think it was punishment. I, I think it was just, uh, Would you have tried to stop them if they had done that in front of you? You know what? I, you know what I, this is okay. This is me on the side. Oh, come on, guys! Yeah, <laughs> guys, stop! You guys gotta stop! Oh, oh man! <laughs> that is pretty funny, guys. <laughs> oh shit! 
<laughs> no, but seriously, we should stop right now. What and then he flexes it? his muscle because he just lifted a 45 <laughs> pound weight. <laughs> and very strong. He did the equivalent of swinging a bag of rice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the little run she does. <laughs> Somebody put a comment on there saying, Run ET, it's the government. And it's like almost fucking perfect. Look at that. <laughs> run <laughs> ET. Yeah, I can see that. Put her on the front of a bike. Yeah, it's very funny. I bet she was like, she bet she had like medicine for like her grandchildren or something. She was going because she looked like she was in a hurry <laughs> to get out of there. <laughs> Matt Bain, was that cruel swinging that granny around? Would you have tried to stop that, or would you have just like kind of been like that? He would have grabbed the it. legs. I would have. I, I would have felt very uncomfortable. <laughs> this is, um, because whose grandma is this? I would be like, is, is that my grandma? Stop swinging her. I need to see her face. <laughs> oh, no, that's not mine. <laughs> Proceed. They stop. They stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm running. I'm trying to run around at the same rate. If that is that Jeff Dunham's grandma? Because <laughs> I Jeff heard the Dunham? scream coming from over there. Wait, hey, let's uh, let's give Jeff Dunham herpes. Uh, oh. uh, has Hey, Royal, have you seen the uh, the video of the grandma being swung around? <laughs> I would tell you, but I think my mic is off. No, it's not. No, it's on. That's not. It. It's on. Then why can I hear anything? Uh, we can hear you. Yeah, I, I can, can hear you just fine. Oh, Talk okay. into the microphone. Let's see. Send Maybe a message on just Facebook. Okay. You got it again? Yeah. All right, okay, that's my problem. <laughs> okay. Have you seen the, the grandma being swung around? Nope. By her titties. But I Bye. want to. I want to so bad now. All right. Make let, this me, let me look for it. It's... um. I'll say in the in the eastern countries of Europe, okay, their fabrics are extremely strong. Yes, <laughs> luckily for this uh, old broad. Yes, he said it. <laughs> John Coyer makes me smile every time he says that. So I was hanging out with Pat, this old broad <laughs> from Pangea. I was making yeah. soup and I made some broth. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody's game game. I had to repost this today. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like the mom from the Fratellis. Fratellis. <laughs> it's that it's that stutter stepping she does that makes it so fucking yeah. funny. Please play that again. Please play that again. Well, there's more. There's more too. I'll just restart. There we go. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> and it's not like merry-go-round speed or anything, so. <laughs> she was, oh. It's much better than them getting drunk on a daily basis. I mean, old women are her to do it again. I mean, if you think about it, old women need their calisthenics, and uh, they need that blood flow to go around. I mean, a little swinging never yeah. hurt an old lady. Yeah, yeah a little swinging is like maybe she get on a swing set, but this is. I like the guy's tracksuit. Is a fucking yeah, right. awesome. He got one of those uh, European blurs tracksuits too. Middle of winter in the Ukraine, and they're like, "Oh, this is my summer suit. It's a warm this day. This is my oh. track suit. Ah, I, I went like running. Track suit. I went running down the street to swing old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna buy or no? You gonna work the workout? Swing old lady. I'm she, not used to lifting 80 pounds. She enjoys the swinging very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to repost that one today. We went over it a few weeks ago, but it was <laughs> just too so great to let go. It is fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's not even racist. And That's over funny. time, over time, the ratings are getting better for it. Because <laughs> <laughs> nice. people are realizing this is actually pretty fucking funny. Yeah. It started with like the first time they watch it, and they're like, ah. Yeah, it come started on. with like a hundred dislikes and twenty-five likes. Now yeah. it's up to a hundred and sixty dislikes. And then they start, yeah, and they start telling their likes. friends about it, and they're like, Hey, man, check this out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can this be another thing we say we made go viral? Oh, I think yeah. so. Certainly. I think it's safe. We made another video viral. We did make another video. viral. Viral. Yeah, okay. we made something uh, go venereal the other day too. Megan yes. Fox's thumbs today. Yeah. Uh, ah. That wait, is what? Very what about venereal. the other day? I don't know. Okay. The door jam. Uh, can can you repeat that, please? Yes, sir. Again, I'm Spencer calling on behalf of the Anthem Blue Cross. Sir, I'm looking for Charles Manson. I hate Jews, you stupid fuck! Why are you asking for Charles Manson? You stupid fuck! Why are you calling me? Charles Manson! Is he in jail right now? What the fuck are you calling me for? You're asking about Charles Manson, you insensitive fuck! That he guy killed millions of people. I'm I'm so sorry to 
have aggravated you, sir. That was not the purpose of the call. What the Sorry. fuck is this about? What the, the fuck is this about? Oh, we were supposed to be calling, sir, because uh, our records show that there was a call made to our customer service. I must have dialed the wrong number if making you sound stressed. Dial 1-800-ROBIN-WILLIAMS and hang yourself, sir. What the oh, fuck? Well, like, you, what, you, 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 sir, 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 you have no, yeah! you have no reason to call me <laughs> and ask for Charles Manson. What the fuck? You're not from an actual fucking insurance company. You said something, something, Blue Shield. That is no fucking insurance company, you fake piece of shit. <laughs> I have Blue Cross Blue Shield. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, go fuck yourself. How about that, sir? How about go fuck yourself? You're giving me suggestions, calling me in the middle of what the fuck I'm doing, telling me how to fucking act. I'm reacting in a natural fucking fashion. Hey, your wife's gonna get on me. Talk to my wife. Talk to my wife, sir. Talk to my wife. You've probably never even gotten close to having a wife. What did I do? Hello? Hello? Catch me. I'm hello. Yes, ma'am, hello, and good evening. I was actually calling, looking for someone who might have called or customer service, but it seems your husband has become hysterical. I must have done I'm not well. hysterical, I'm hilarious! Very sorry to have disturbed you. My husband's so, drunk, what is it? We're eating dinner, you fuck! We were eating dinner, I made casserole. She's eating no cock and I'm eating pussy! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating salad? Are no. you tossing it by yourself? Can your head reach your own ass, sir? Because if it can't, Honey. stick it up there. Honey, <laughs> he's shit. drunk. Don't pay attention to him. He gets Holy angry fuck. when he's had three, three <laughs> slippery nipples. <laughs> I'm very sorry to have disturbed you, ma'am. I didn't mean to cause any trouble with this call. Dad, why are you screaming? Ask what is it about specifically. What what is it about specifically? Oh, Ashley, I'm Spencer calling on behalf of Yansom Blue Cross Blue Shield. I was supposed to be looking for Charles Manson. I think he's in jail. Ask what about the call itself? What, what? about the call itself? What about the call itself? Why are you trying to reach Charles Manson? Oh, sorry, ma'am. Why are you trying to reach Charles Manson? Why? Why? Why was he calling customer service? Why were you call? Why was he calling customer service? Oh, Ashley, ma'am, our records show that there was a call that was made Monday, either for or by Charles Manson. Why? <laughs> but so, ma'am, that's why we're calling. Is there? I, have I read? Is there a reason why he was calling on Monday? Did it say why he was calling on Monday? Oh, Ashley, ma'am, uh, we're not allowed to disclose that information. Bullshit! If you're calling me saying I called customer service, but you won't say why you called me in the first place. Greedy pie. Screaming Shut up, child. I'm gonna fucking. I just shot my son. Because of your insensitive calls, sir! My baby! Uh, I'm very, very sorry, but there seems to be a commotion uh, going on. I'm very sorry to have disturbed you. I shot my son, sir. Did you hear those gunshots? I just shot my son. Oh my god. Why are you calling me? I have already mentioned that several times, sir, and I actually... But you're not going into why the call was made originally. If you're saying... If you're sir, saying I that I called I customer service, anymore, why would I call customer service if you won't sir, even bring up why I called? What? It's a joke, sir. We're pranking you since I was uh, getting an unexpected call. Thank you for playing along. Thank you, sir. Have a great night. You too. Goodbye. <laughs>
Thanks, <laughs> thank you guys for yeah. saving my ass there and saying what if he calls uh, 911. No, we call 911 yeah. and we trace the call and be like, this guy just said he was going to shoot his son. And I was like, oh, God, oh, God, I don't want to talk oh. to the cops tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> shoot your son, that was com- Oh, my God. That was some fucking <laughs> shit, dude. Oh. Why did he stay on so long? That's what I'm confused about. <laughs> yeah. uh, that Because he didn't say it was Blue Cross Blue Shield on its own. He said something before it. He said something before, making me think, for one, it's a mistake. Two, Charles Manson called from this phone number. I don't fucking think so. I know. It was weird because it was like, why? And then he <laughs> held on way longer. Like, if I was in that position, I would have been like, I even were put freaking the, out. I even put I'll the phone up to the headphones so he could hear the gunshots. No, yeah. And I would have been and like, that's oh. when he started going silent. No, and I would have been like, I would have been like, I'll call later if like they were flipping the fuck out. Yeah. But like, he held on for so long that I was like, what the fuck is this happening? <laughs> Holy shit. I was freaking the fuck out, man. I was Good. Like, you should freak out. out. I, was, I was the one trying to tell you. Cameron, look up. What is the area code? What is the area code 424? Once I realized it, that's when I was like, like oh shit like shit 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 and i was like it's gonna go straight to your cell phone and apd is gonna show up area code 424 that is uh at mexico least, at least that's part gonna, of mexico oh i was like they're at least gonna shoot john wait no that's for sure wait a minute <laughs> click on the picture click on the picture that, that looks, shows the area code shoot me but I don't not. bite my tit bonobo Oh, that was me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> riled up, Rabies clearly. from someone else. Dude, that, that's Southern California. Like, Southern California. How fucking cool was that? That Not only that they called no during the podcast, it. but that like open. Alan picked up. He kept him going. <laughs> And you, then made it. So and, <laughs> and then we turned it over to Bryn, and she made it totally fucking cool as his wife, dude. And then all of a sudden, he was like, obviously, there is a commotion, sir. Obviously, there is a commotion. I was like, what's it called about? <laughs> well, we can't legally tell you. <laughs> I, like, I do shit. feel like a piece of shit. Though. Your husband ordered a fuck saw. <laughs> a fuck saw. <laughs> what is a fuck saw? <laughs> From Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Yes. Well, he wanted them to pay for it because you know, like Charles insurance. Charles Manson. Wow. Is that a covered? I like how yeah. he did stay Our on. He did stay on long enough for me to say that this is a prank, and thank you for playing along. No, thank God that you did that because I was like, I really don't want to. do That really was tonight. a good idea. 